Namaste. Welcome, my friends. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Cindy and I am an empath. And this channel is all about empath life and how to live an empowered life if you're an empath or a HSP. So welcome. Consider subscribing. And for those of you who already know me, welcome back. <laughs> so at the end of last year, 2021, I started doing reviews on books. Remember that? And um, I stopped. <laughs> but this is, I did promise you three, uh, three videos about the best books of 2021. Uh, well, it was actually the books that changed my life in 2021. So um, I'm a woman of my word. And this is the final video. There are two books, two books in this one. <laughs> okay, so um, let me start with this one. The Untethered Soul. Now, this book, this book is, um, no, that's amazing. So <laughs> basically, this book talks about um, how we are not our thoughts. You may have heard that before. We are not our thoughts. We are actually gods, believe it or not. We are actually source. We are whatever you want to call it, the divine source, the universe, God, that pure consciousness, that creator of all things. We are a fragment of that, having a human experience. So we are act, which means it's so mind boggling. It means that we are all connected to each other. We are connected to every single living thing. But the thing is, we all have these different life experiences and we are conditioned to believe certain things about certain happenings. Some of us believe that uh, one thing is good, while other people believe that that same thing is bad. And that is, has all come about from our conditioning. So this book teaches us in a really um, easy to understand way that we are not our conditioning, that we are not our thoughts, that beneath all of that blah, 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 constant chatter in your mind lies a peaceful reservoir, a peaceful lies source, lies the one thing that connects all of us together. It sounds, when I say it, it sounds like, ew, <laughs> that's a big concept. But that is why this book uh, changed my life. Because the way the author, Michael A. Singer, describes, uh, writes about this epic concept, makes it easy to understand. So you know that I am a long-term yoga student. And a lot of the concepts that he talks about in this book are really the things that I have already learnt in yoga. So I came to this book with an understanding already, a basic understanding of what he was talking about. But he explains it in a way, these deep Eastern philosophies, in a very Western way so that our Western minds can grasp it. So I am forever indebted to this book and this author because he made something that I kind of understood in theory, something that dropped into my heart and that I fully understand. So this book gets a five out of five. No, actually, let's be honest. This book gets a four out of five because I did find that it became a little bit repetitive at times. It was like once I got it, it was like, yeah, OK, I got it. But if you don't have the years of yoga training that I have, it may not be as repetitive for you. So absolutely, if you're looking for um, a way to understand yourself better and to move beyond um, living in your thoughts and being reactive to the circumstances of your life, then I recommend this amazing book, The Untethered Soul by Michael A. Singer. The journey beyond yourself. Great. And the final book is this one, Untamed by Glennon Doyle. Why did this book change my life? Because Glennon is unapologetically honest. She speaks her truth loudly, loudly. 
And reading this book, it taught me a lot. And it, um, it taught me a lot about myself. And it snapped me out of a lot of preconceived ideas. So uh, you may know that Glennon was a good um, mummy blogger with a, um, a lovely Christian life with, you know, a husband and three kids and all of all of that um, wonderful rightness. <laughs> and then in the next breath, Glennon was a lesbian. <laughs> so <laughs> I had made a lot. I had a lot of preconceived ideas about um who Glennon was, and um, a lot of preconceived ideas about gender. You know, I will admit that I thought, well, you're either straight or you're a lesbian or you're gay. And then reading this book makes me realise, actually, there are so many nuances and there are so many of us who conform to something because we are told that we are wrong if we don't. And this woman has just blasted out of that and in doing so has given permission to everyone who reads it to stand up and go, you know what, I am blazing my own path. And that is why this book makes my books that changed my life in 2021 list. Uh, she is a hero for being so brave and just speaking her truth. I can only imagine the abuse that she has received because of this. I'm sure it hasn't been all uh, flowers and joy and, and um, sweet things, <laughs> but still she has um, been honest. And I think if more of us lived an honest, vulnerable life, she's made herself so vulnerable in this book. Uh, if we make ourselves, if we allow ourselves to be vulnerable, life is more honest. There's more honesty in life. And don't we want more of that? Aren't we tired of pretending that everything is okay? Don't we want to be who we really are and to love other people for being who they really are? So, interestingly, both of these books are about letting go of preconceived ideas, letting go of conditioning and being uh, who we think we should be as opposed to who we really are, finding our true nature. Beautiful. All right, I finished the series and now on to what I'm reading in 2022. Hopefully they will be as great, as life changing as the books I read in 2021. I hope you enjoyed that. If you're into books and you want to read more books that will um, empower you as an empath, uh, subscribe. <laughs> All right, speak with you in the next video. Namaste.